So let's consider the following sort of thought experiment. Suppose I take a proton. Since we can't see electric fields, we need to measure them some other way. And the way we measure them is by looking at what happens to a charged particle. So I take a proton out of my pocket. And I release it at this look. This is going to be what we call the observation location for this experiment. I release it here. And I watch it move. And I discover that it's speeding up. It goes down. And it's speeding up at a rate of 9.8 meters per second every second. Okay, Would you think it's interacting with something? What's it interacting with? It's a gravitational interaction due to the Earth, right? So, so there was a gravitational field there, we would say, that affected the electron and got it to. OK, now I go away and I come back at a different time. And I release a different proton here at this observation location. And this time I discover that it actually starts to move that way. And it speeds up with an, at the rate of 10 to the 11th meters per second per second. Now, it can't do that very long, or it would end up going the speed of light, which it can't do. But initially, anyway, it's got this huge change in its velocity and momentum in that direction. OK, is it interacting with something? Can this be a gravitational interaction? Why not? Well, bec OK, so what's your name? Josh. Josh. OK, so Josh says, we would notice if there was a massive object that large nearby. It took the entire mass of the Earth to speed this thing up at 9.8 meters per second every second. And if there was something massive enough to speed it up at 10 to the 11th meters per second squared, we would know it was there because, in fact, we would also be <laughs> probably a black hole of some kind. So that's not likely. What kind of interaction could it be? Could be electric interaction, couldn't it? So the proton was going this way. So what kind of a charged particle could be where that would make it do this? Ah, we get both. OK, so someone thinks it could be a positive charged particle. Where could that positive charged particle be? Over here, right? What if it was a negative charged particle? It'd have to be over here, wouldn't it? So either way, you could get the same effect. OK, now you're in a position to make a prediction. OK, we saw this proton speeding up in this direction. What if I take an electron? And I release it at this observation location. What's going to happen to the electron? It's going to accelerate that way, isn't it? And is, it's, is, it, is the rate at which it speeds up going to be the same as the acceleration of the proton? Mass is different. Not the energy is the same. We're guessing, we're guessing the magnitude of the force would probably be the same, aren't we? So, so it, would, it would be speeding up faster because it's smaller mass. Yeah, what if I take a neutron and I release it at our observation location? What happens? 9.8 meters per second squared down, right? It doesn't interact electrically. Now, here's what? Yes? Uh, induced charge is not really a very clear term. There's no way that we know of that a particle acquires a charge from some other particle. Um, we'll see later that there are some other things that can happen. But the neutron is, is, has a zero charge, and it's going to stay that way. You can't have a charged neutron. Okay. Um, we'll see that. Sometimes there are neutral things that can be affected by electric fields, but it's a little complicated. A neutron is not one of them. Uh, and so it's a good question, but no, the neutron isn't going isn't to respond to any electric influences. So the question to ask yourself now is, here's the observation location. We've seen a proton. We put it there and accelerated that way. An electron went that way. A neutron didn't do anything. Suppose we don't put anything here. 
We don't put any particle here. Is there anything at that location? It's the thing that's at the location is what we call an electric field. There is an electric field there, and the way we know, the way we detect it, is by putting a charged particle there and seeing it, seeing it move. So the electric field is there lying in wait for a charged particle to come along, at which point it'll exert a force on it. 